Hello everyone. I guess I need to introduce myself. On YouTube, my name is Bully For You. We have a cat. His name is Bully. And I, he has a real attitude. And one day he looked at me and I, you know, talked to him like he understands. And the look he gave me was like, Bully For You. So that's how I came up with my YouTube name. Online, on the Ning sites and um, some of the other sites that I belong to, I am KT. And KT came about because my initials, first name K, last name T. And at work, I work with a lot of military people. And one day, someone had trouble pronouncing my name. And they said, you know what, I'm just going to call you KT. Do you mind? And it stuck. So online I just spell out K and T phonetically. So I am KT and you are watching me attempt to put together this gratitude journal. A challenge from the Scraps of Color group. As you can see I got sidetracked. I started looking through my book and decided that I wanted an envelope. And I got a... a package a while ago from Maya Road. They usually have these um, warehouse sales and you pay $50 and you get a box full of their stuff. I know a lot of people I've read online um, don't like the things that are in there. I love them. Uh, maybe it's because I'm relatively new to scrapbooking so everything that I see I ooh and ah. Anyway, I got sidetracked with my book I decided I wanted an envelope in there somewhere so I remembered these envelopes that I have from Maya Road and I attempted to line them up with the one of the pages to punch some holes as you can see I made a mistake I put one over too far and maybe this is a good thing because I am going to fix it covering all the holes with ribbons. I hope this works. And then I'm going to repunch the holes and hopefully um, <laughs> it'll cover my mistakes. Also I'm going to stamp the envelope with you you know this has just become one of my favorite stamps to use, background stamps. It's called Damask or Damask Background from May of 2006. There used to be a group online called scrapping goods no scrap goods and they had kits and I um, used to get them never used the kit I'm embarrassed to tell you how long I, I <laughs> ordered things from this scrapbooking club um, one of the things I liked about the scrapbooking club was that not only did you get pretty papers and eyelets and things they gave you stamps as well as tools some of the first tools that I received, like my scissors and um, my Tim Holtz um, ideology hammer, was through this kit. Sadly, um, about six months ago, they decided to close up shop after probably about four or five years. Um, and as usual, you don't miss something until it's gone. I missed the group, I missed the online community. But it enabled me to have all this stuff to really start using and getting ready in my stash. Anyway, this is a Damask background stamp. It's the stamp that I use to do these tags. And I think, as you can see, I pulled them out of the envelope. I'm going to have the tags inside the envelope. And I want to stamp the, um, the entire envelope with the background stamp then I'm going to put my ribbon on to cover the holes that I messed up on repunch the holes with my crocodile which I've had forever and I just started using and see how this goes I'm sure there are experts out there who've been scrapbooking forever who will look at some of the things I do and go that's wrong or there's an easier way and if you have an easier way 
please leave it in the comments or email me. Um, I just started scrapbooking seriously in January after hoarding supplies for a long time. Now, I did use some of the supplies for cards. I do a lot of um, homemade cards, but I never scrapbooked until January. When I realized I had so much junk, I either had to sell it or um, use it. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, this is a large stamp. I have acrylic blocks, but nothing as big as this background stamp. So normally I'll just use a CD case, put my stamp on there, my unmounted stamp, and see, it sticks. That way, because, you know, acrylic blocks are really expensive, very expensive, um, and I'm cheap. And some of the good things about using these CD cases is they have little ridges and lines inside, so it helps to use those to line up your stamps so they're not crooked. This is my favorite ink pad, Anna Griffin Chocolate. I ordered this from, uh, I think it was Overstock.com. I get a lot of scrapbooking things from Overstock.com, Addicted to Scrapbooking, and um, Addicted to Rubber Stamping. So, here goes. I think that was dumb. I should have moved this out the way. Thankfully, none of the ink got on there. Um, let me turn it around. I don't really care if the ink gets on the string because normally I take um, my ink pads and I um, color the strings. So this is turning out good. Going to line it up a little bit. Like I said, I look around the house. There's a little line, but I don't care. I might cover it up with some things. I'm going to do the back.